Hey, what's going on everybody? Wishing you all a super, super very Merry Christmas. This is your friend Donovan over at Fret Spot, and I've got a an amazing bass to show you today. Uh, this bass was one that I picked up at the NAMM show this year, and when I got it, I just immediately fell in love with it, and it's kind of just stayed in my personal collection that I haven't offered for sale. Uh, and I'm offering it today mainly because its replacement is coming, which is the, essentially the exact same bass, but in just a different finish. <laughs> I'm uh, totally in love with the uh, ocean blue uh, finish that NTD does, and so they're making me the same bass in that. But let's get the, to this uh, to this bass today. This is an MTD 53024, and let me tell you, once we zoom in on close this thing, in on this thing, you'll see this bass is a absolute smoke show the most amazing beautiful instrument you'll ever see and trust me the first time you play it you're gonna fall in love so let's look at it on the top we've got a absolutely gorgeous maple flamed burled top so look at that and it's in a cherry burst and then we've got a figured myrtle body so like just the, and these are, this is a tin top. So a tin top and then a figured body. Chechen fingerboard. Matching headstock. And matching uh, truss rod cover, which these are all upgrades. Matching control cavity plates. All of these are upgrades. This is all like what you get uh, for, you know, the special base. Um, knobs are color matched to the body and just an amazing base. It's eight pounds, four ounces, 19 millimeter spacing, 24 frets of two octave fingerboard, and it's a 30 inch scale strung B to G. And you might think like 30 inch scale, like how's the B string on that? Fabulous. Like it's really, really nice. Um, I don't think you would notice really any difference in the way it sounds to most any other bass. I was telling someone about this bass the other day and I was explaining like, so think about how often you use your B string. You know, I don't know about you, but for me, I would say it's 5% of the time, maybe less than 10% of my playing is done on the B string. And when I play the B string, what I need is just a nice, clear, controlled sound. I want it to be in balance with the rest of the strings in terms of volume output. I want it to sound good. It needs to sound like the rest of the bass. This totally does that. And the amazing thing with it being 30 inch scale is you would be amazed at just how easy this is to play. Uh, you have something in first position. It feels so comfortable. This feels almost more like you know, uh, playing from the third fret on like a 35 inch scale bass. Um, so it's super comfortable, super easy to play. You can see the like, if I had a strap and was holding this, you can see my wrist angle nice and straight. So it's much more like ergonomically easy to play. It's easy to play fast on it uh, because the scaling, everything's just, you know, shorter across this way. Uh, there's no problems with like fretting in the upper nose or anything. I honestly just can't find any drawback. The other thing that's super cool about it is this comes with the MTD gig case. And uh, so here's the the case. This is basically this, about the size of like a guitar gig bag. Um, here's um, a normal bass gig bag. You can see how much taller a normal bass gig bag is to that. And Pull a guitar bag here. Oh gosh. This guitar bag isn't zipped and has a guitar in it, so let's hope I don't drop it. Yeah, so it's the same size basically as a guitar gig bag, which just means like throwing this thing over your shoulder, plus this case is really nice where it's strong. So when you have it strong, the head the back of the headstock is below your head. So walking through doorways is easier. I don't know, man. This is, I'm, I'm hooked. I'm hooked on the 30. That's why I ordered another one for myself. So uh, I would highly, highly, highly recommend you try this bass. If you haven't 
had the opportunity to try one of these before, uh, give it a shot. I do offer a trial period. If you're not happy with it, you can return it, take trades, all that kind of stuff as well. Uh, if you want to get this, you can go to fretspot.com or email me at donovan at fretspot.com. And uh, let's jump in and listen to a little bit of it. Thank you. 
So there's a quick rundown on that bass. Just super, just sounds so, so good. One of the things that I love about it is you can kind of hear when I played, when I was playing through it. If you play, sorry, I can't get in the shot play at the same time. But you can, like, if you just play lightly. You get just your nice finger, uh, finger style sound. But you just dig in a little bit. that you know it's like you're slapping but I'm not I'm just playing finger style last one was slapping so really just love it for that this bass does have a, a couple of small little dings there's a tiny ding in the control uh, on the control there I think you can see that and then there's another one I think it's right, right there. It's just in the, this. that's in the finish. That's in the wood. I mean, it's not gonna affect anything, but just a slight cosmetic ding and price reflects that accident from being around here in the house, you know? But anyway, uh, if you'd like to get one of these, reach out to me, Donovan at fretspot.com fretspot or go to fretspot.com. Can't talk, go to fretspot.com to see it. And uh, as always, wish you guys a happy holidays, happy new year. Hope everyone's well. Look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye-bye.